in Los Angeles as, as well as all of California. There's certainly a, one class of individuals who are habitual drinkers, but that's not the majority of individuals. The majority of individuals who get arrested for the first time are no different than you, I, perhaps a member of your family. My obligation is to have that individual realize some sense of where they're really at. They're not going to lose their job. They're not going to be put in jail. They're not going to ruin the rest of their life. Not only because of what we're able to do for them, but more importantly because what their fears have brought to their mind. A lot of representing an individual is based on relationships. Not only the relationship between myself and my client, but also my relationship with the prosecutor, with the district attorney, with the court. There are often times that I can walk into court, someone who I have seen for the last 30 years, say hello, and obviously they're not going to throw out the case for me, but they're going to be at least an open ear. Having that open ear is a significant benefit in defending any client in any case. The other defenses are often if someone takes a breath test, that breath machine may very well be out of order, malfunctioning. If the machine has been malfunctioning, if we're able to get that machine thrown out or the breath test result thrown out, then we've got the entire case won. In my 32 years of practicing law, I've handled literally thousands of drunk driving cases, not only as a defense attorney, but also as a prosecutor. You've been arrested for drunk driving. You're scared, confused. I've been practicing for 32 years in Los Angeles, and I will tell you exactly what you need to do and what you don't need to be afraid of.